Israel this morning says the ex-Arkansas governor, Mike Huckabee, tapped by President-elect Trump to be Washington's next ambassador, is a welcome choice. I think he will be a great ambassador to Israel. He's very familiar with, with the facts on the ground. It wasn't the only good news for Israel overnight. The Biden administration also backed down from a threat to reduce American military support unless Israel allowed more humanitarian aid into Gaza by a deadline that expired yesterday. I would not view it as giving them a pass. We've seen some uh, progress being made. We would like to see uh, some more changes happen. The UN and humanitarian organizations do not agree, warning that parts of Gaza are once again on the brink of famine. We joined a rare airdrop by the Jordanian military. The crates on the C-130 cargo plane contain some of the only food available to reach more than 2 million Gazans. And there they go, eight tons of food and medicine, this time being dropped over southern Gaza. Floating down went olive oil, pasta, tomato sauce, and medical supplies. We filmed as the crowds below grew excited as they watched the chutes open. Many started to run, desperate to get whatever they could before it was gone. But 30-year-old Abdullah Maruf came back with an empty bag. It was a bust, he says, explaining that another Palestinian family got there first and then fired guns in the air so they could hoard everything for themselves. Law and order has collapsed after a year of war and siege. Speaking in Brussels this morning, Secretary Blinken said the time has come for Israel to end its war in Gaza. Officials in the Biden administration have made similar comments before to no effect. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.